states of matter. There are four states of matter, namely solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. All solids, liquids, and gases are made of atoms. It is the building blocks of matter. More specifically, atoms are the simplest form of matter and cannot be broken down. Solids Solids can be hard like a stone, soft like cotton, a big rock like an asteroid, or small rocks like grains of sand. The key is that solids hold their shape and they don't flow like liquid. In the same way that a large solid holds its shape, the atoms inside of a solid are not allowed to move around too much. The molecules in solid are stuck in a specific structure or arrangement of atoms. The atoms still vibrate and the electrons fly around in their orbitals, but the entire atom will not change its position. Examples of solid What is this, children? Very good. This is an ice. Next is a watch. Very good. Computer sound. Very good. Cell phone. And the last one. You are correct. Bricks. So these are examples of solid. Now let's go to liquid. Liquids, examples of liquids at room temperature include water or H2O, blood, and even honey. If you have different types of molecules dissolved in a liquid, it is called a solution. Honey is a solution of sugar, water, and other molecules. Liquids fill the shape of any container they are in. If you pour water in a cup, it will fill up the bottom of the cup first and then fill the rest. The top of a liquid will usually have a flat surface. That flat surface is the result of gravity pulling on the liquid molecules. Let's go back to the cup for a moment. If you put an ice cube, which is a solid, into the cup, it will sit there and not change shape. As the cube warms and melts, the liquid water will fill the bottom of the cup and have a flat surface on top. Examples of liquid. What is this? You are correct. Milk. Oil. Water. Juice. Very good. And soy sauce. So these are examples of liquid. Can you name other examples? Let's proceed to 
gas. Gases are everywhere. The molecules in gases are really spread out, full of energy, and constantly moving around in random ways. Gases can fill a container of any size or shape. It doesn't matter how big the container is. The molecules spread out to fill the whole space equally. Examples of gas are atmosphere of the earth, fumes from volcanoes, helium in balloons. Gases are all around you. Think about a balloon. No matter what shape you make the balloon, it will be eventually filled with the gas molecules. If you make a balloon animal, the molecules are spread equally throughout the entire shape. Liquids can only fill the bottom of a container, while gases can fill it entirely. The shape of liquids is very dependent on gravity, while less dense gases are light enough to have a more freedom to move. Gas or vapor What's the difference? You might hear the term vapor. Vapor and gas mean the same thing. The word vapor is used to describe gases that are usually liquids at room temperature. Good examples of these types of liquids include water or H2O, mercury. They get the vapor title when they are in a gaseous phase. You will probably hear the term water vapor, which means water in a gas state. Compounds such as carbon dioxide are usually gases at room temperature. Scientists will rarely talk about carbon dioxide vapor. And the last state of matter is plasma. Plasmas are a lot like gases, but the atoms are different. They are made of free electrons and ions of an element such as neon. You don't find naturally occurring plasmas too often when you walk around. They aren't things that happen regularly on Earth. If you have ever heard of the Northern Lights or Ball Lightning, you might know that those are the types of plasmas. It takes a very special environment to keep plasmas going. They are different and unique from the other states of matter. Plasma is different from a gas because it is made up of groups of positively and negatively charged particles. These are examples of plasma. Remember that plasma is a state of matter consisting of free charge particles. Examples of these are lightning, solar wind, aurora, fluorescent light, and nuclear fire. That's the end of our lesson for today. I hope that you've learned something from our topic. Remember, when there is willingness to learn, you will acquire knowledge 
easier. Goodbye! Stay tuned for other videos!